Overwatch gets a new Halloween event, more Pokemon Sun and Moon news, and PSVR launches worldwide. My name is Cassius Kent and this is File Found. Oh, finally, it's Friday again, thank goodness. I could not be more excited for this week to end, like every week I suppose. But this one especially. I'm jumping right in. Overwatch is doing a Halloween event this year, it's running for three weeks. And they added a whole bunch of new themes and additions to the game. A bunch of skins and emotes, etc, etc. And this time it's a little better than the the Olympic event. That wasn't very great. You know, you can buy the skins with coins now, but they cost 3,000 coins. So unless you've been playing every day and have a ton of coins saved up, good good luck. Um, you can't buy any loot boxes yet for some reason. I don't know if that changed. Last time I played, you can buy any loot boxes. Not like I would buy any because I'm not for gambling. And, man, they had a little PvE mode, which is just fine, I guess. Uh, my problem with these Overwatch things is I just want to buy the skins. Like, with money. With real money. Not not fake money. I don't want to gamble for them. Just, just, just let me buy them. Please. I'm an adult. But no. You either have to get lucky or or get lucky. Over a ton of coins saved up. But I'm probably going to actually play this time for the chance of getting... You haven't played Overwatch since since the Olympics, because that just that whole thing just rubbed me the wrong way. It wasn't a fan, wasn't a fan. But moving on from there, however, Nintendo, well, not Nintendo, but Kurokuro leaked again. And I can't really sure if I could call Kurokuro leaks leaks because it happens every month at the same time without fail. I can't think of a month where I can't think of a month leading up to the release of a new Pokemon game in which Kurokuro has not been leaked. So. Um, we got a bunch of evolutions. I'm not gonna say, you know, if you, you want to go find that stuff, go find it. There, there are a few evolutions for a couple Pokemon. One that I wasn't expecting to have an evolution. I was expecting maybe a uh, uh, a different type of, of evolution per se. It wasn't wasn't direct evolution. Maybe you know you had to do something special, like maybe take it to a meteorite or something. But you know, it, it's it's cool. You know, we've we've hit we've we've hit peak peak Digimon now with with Pokemon. I think I think we've hit there. You know, I thought. Like maybe since Braviary and some of the past gen Pokemon that, you know, alright, that's a little on the nose. But now we're we're straight up just Digimon. Which is which is fine by me. I love both of the, both of the franchises. And um that's it. We're gonna get a new there's a live stream coming up soon and there's supposed to be another trailer today and you know, the game comes out in little a little over a month now, you know, the the demo comes out next Tuesday Thursday. Next Thursday. I don't I don't know. Comes out on the eighteenth. Um and we'll see how well the eShop holds up for that. Beyond that, though, I think that's that's it for all the Pokemon stuff. And last but certainly not least, PlayStation VR launched this week, the week of December 14th. Whoa, not December 14th, October 14th, 2016. I have no idea when it is. But yeah, PSVR is finally out around the world and it's out to pretty positive reviews, uh, surprisingly. You know, the... It is low end, but on the low end of things, it is a good alternative to Vive and Oculus Rift. I've heard. I don't have one, and I'm not gonna have one for a long time. I don't. I don't even think I have the space in here, and I don't really like that they're charging $100 for Move controllers. That six-year-old piece of technology that they have not upgraded at all in the last six years. I don't like that. And same with the camera. The camera needs work also, but it's it's it's, it's serviceable VR. It's it's cheap VR, which is fine. You know, there's not to take away from from what they're doing with it. It's incredible that they got to work on PS4, but there are a lot of things that need to be ironed out for me to go. All right, I'll I'll drop four or five hundred dollars on this. Uh, but the reviews all around seem to be positive. You know, some of the games are giving people nausea, but that's to be expected with uh with VR and people. But beyond that, it seems to be doing well. I wouldn't know. I'm very interested to see how um how the November or end of October MPD shape up. Because small uh, sidebar, Xbox One S s outsold PS4 in the last three months in a row. So they've been they, the Xbox has been doing really good recently, and we'll see. I want the the November month is gonna be the the one that that says that the swing has happened. That Xbox can potentially just make a huge comeback now. But uh, that's another video for another time. I think I'm gonna land it there. Um, congratulations on making it to Friday. We're all very happy for you. Please enjoy your weekend. Please play some video games or go outside. It's getting cold in the States now, so maybe maybe wear, wear a sweater. Um, but wherever you are, whatever you're doing, have a wonderful day.